Your sister can help us. Although just a handmaiden, she has Marjorie Tyrell's favor. And Lady Marjorie's betrothal to the King may be enough to keep the Boltons at bay. If it's presented to her as it should be. Ethan made this for me. It was very kind of Lady Marjorie to give this to me. It once belonged to Lady Elena. Asher sent me this coin to remember him. What a strange place, Essos. Father. Much excitement here in King's Landing for the coming wedding. Lady Marjorie has proven to be quite popular throughout the city. I do wish you and Mother could come, although I know it would be impossible under the circumstances. I miss all of you, and I look forward to the day you can. Wonders Made by Man, by Lomas Longstrider. A gift from Roderick. I hope to see them all someday. King's Landing. I wonder if it's sunny at Ironrath today. It troubles me to even ask this of you, but you must appeal to Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. She is our best hope, and can be a powerful ally, especially now when your family so desperately needs her help. One moment. Oh, sorry, milady. I, I didn't mean to disturb you. I can come back later if you'd like. No, it's fine. Come in. Begging your pardon, my lady, but you're right. If you don't mind my asking, you seem rather upset. I'm fine, thank you. Of course, my lady. Please hurry if you can. Lady Marjorie will be here any minute. Of course, my lady. You work for Lady Marjorie? I may be wrong, but it seems like you do. Perhaps you should come back later. Of course, my lady. Lady Marjorie, you're early. I was hoping there would be time for us to talk. Come, there's something we must discuss. From the day you arrived in Highgarden, I've thought of you more as a friend than as my handmaiden. 
A dear friend, in fact. Thank you, my lady. And you know how I feel about what's happened to your family. I feel your pain as if it were my own. What you've suffered is beyond imagining. And your poor family as well. I need your help, my lady. Of course. And I will help you in any way I can. But there's another matter we must attend to first. You must understand there are limits to what I can say, especially here in King's Landing, now that I am to be Queen. To have a handmaiden from the North whose family fought for Rob Stark. It raises questions at a time I can least afford. Cersei herself cornered me this morning outside the Royal Sept. She mentioned the Northern girl in my service, and she painted you a traitor. She was very pleased with herself. Her face was full of mirth as she said it. How did you respond? I told her you are one of my most trusted handmaidens, that you can hardly be blamed for the actions of your father and brother. Nonetheless, she demands an audience. She wants an apology of some sort, for what I don't know, but she's waiting for us now, and I promised I would bring you to her. I wouldn't ask this of you if it were not important. I cannot afford any conflict with Cersei with the wedding so near. What do I say? Find a way to appease her. Humor her. Tell her what she wants to hear. See if the Queen Regent is ready to receive us. You'll be fine. I know you will. You may feel one thing, but you must say another. Good luck. You can do this. Ah, Lady Marjorie. Aren't you looking lovely this evening? Lord Tyrion. Your Grace? With your permission, Allow me to introduce Lady Mira of House Forrester. Your Grace. The girl knows her courtesies. Impressive. You may rise. House Forrester is a northern house loyal to the King. Are they? I beg your pardon, Your Grace. I wasn't talking to you. I want to hear from the girl. Is your family loyal to the King? Perhaps you should ask the new Lord Forrester. He's not here, is he? She is. Joffrey is the one true King, Your Grace. Hmm. And yet. For centuries, the Foresters have been loyal bannermen to House Stark. A house of traitors. Yes, Your Grace. They are traitors. The Starks were your liege lord, yet you name them traitors so easily. I take it this is the kind of loyalty the King can expect from you, if you have any loyalty at all. Is your house willing to swear fealty to your new liege lord, Roos Bolton? He is the Warden of the North, Your Grace. He is. And I the Queen Regent, and Tyrion the Master of Coin. The girl has a remarkable talent for answering questions while in fact saying nothing at all. Old allegiances are not easily abandoned. But now that the war is over, we must look to rebuild and forge new alliances. 
There are ships and shields to be built, and Joffrey will need a steady supply of ironwood for his armies. I'm told there are others who would happily serve that purpose, but I trust we can rely on House Forrester. Forrester Ironwood does seem rather unique. Yes, Your Grace. It would be a shame to see it fall into the hands of another house. I imagine you'd do almost anything to prevent that from happening, wouldn't you? Ask any Lannister, and they'd do whatever was necessary to save Casterly Rock. It would be unfortunate to see another house lay claim to what's yours. Yes, Your Grace. I would do anything. I see. What would you have the girl do, Cersei? It's not as if she fought beside the Starks, wielding a battle axe for the Northern Army. It raises an interesting question, I suppose. Can we truly blame those who end up on the wrong side of the wall? Our dear Marjorie here was betrothed to Renly Baratheon on the false assumption that he would one day rule the Seven Kingdoms. Can we fault her for her mistake? Should she be held accountable? She was just following her heart, Your Grace. And the very same heart so quickly led her to my son. If there's a point to this, I hope you find it quickly. Loyalty can be such a hard thing to define. This city alone is filled with all sorts of ambitious opportunists looking to reinvent themselves. Pretending to be something they're not. Who knows what lurks within their hearts. If you are a girl from the North, here in service to Lady Marjorie, one can only assume her interests are yours. Yet loyalty to a king, that must be absolute, beyond question. And if your loyalties were to become conflicted between your king and the very person whom you serve, what would you do then? I'm sure she would- Let the girl answer the question. Go on. I would be true to the king, your grace. Well said. I was beginning to worry you didn't have your priorities straight. She is a threat to the crown, isn't she? The most dangerous handmaiden in all of King's Landing. My sense is this girl will say almost anything to get what she wants. Which is not very encouraging. I'd like a word with you, if I may. Of course, Your Grace. I'll walk you out. This may come as a surprise, but I met your father once, at the tourney at Lannisport. Even then he didn't trust Drews Bolton. We only spoke briefly, but your father struck me as an honorable man. You have my condolences for his loss. These would be trying times for your family, even under the best of circumstances. Thank you, Lord Tyrion. That's very kind of you to say. That certainly took courage, to so publicly declare your loyalty to Joffrey for all to hear. Poor Lady Marjorie was humiliated, although Cersei seemed quite pleased. It was quite the first impression. I, of course, found it all highly entertaining. I did it for Lady Marjorie. Hmm, rather odd, if that's what she asked of you. But I'm sure she has your best interests at heart. My sister and I have our differences. She takes great pleasure in her little charades. I take mine in thwarting them. We must find our amusements where we can. She threatened to give your ironwood to another house. It is the master of coin who decides such matters. The crown needs boats. Boats need wood. And I speak for the crown in this regard. Not her. What are you suggesting? I suppose the Crown could be persuaded to secure Ironwood from House Forrester. Lady Marjorie might not look favorably on such an alliance, and it would infuriate Cersei. Although what would be amusing for me might prove rather dangerous for you and your house. Are you willing to risk that? It may be far too dangerous. In fact, forget I even suggested such a thing. I'm sorry, Lord Tyrion. But it's a risk I cannot afford. I admire your discretion. 
Now, if you'll excuse me, I promised Sansa I would join her for dinner tonight. Three beautiful bottles of Dornish wine await my arrival. The mere thought of them makes me thirsty already. I hope we meet again. Nothing would make Cersei happier. Until then, be careful. This is not the North. King's Landing can be a nest of vipers to the uninitiated. Mira, I was worried. How was it? Cersei has a way of looking at you as though you're nothing. It's more than a little intimidating. It didn't go very well. I'm sorry. Cersei is known for being rather difficult. But at least it's over now. Lady Marjorie has spent the entire day working on seating arrangements for the wedding. Of course, you and I are seated way at the back. Here with the fourth cousins and the ninth born sons. Ah. Sir Jamie, I wouldn't mind tarnishing that white cloak of his. Sarah, what? It's true. And Oberyn Martell, the Red Viper. I'm told he has a paramour, which I doubt is Dornish for wife. You'll get us in trouble. We're just having some fun. Perhaps Lady Marjorie could make the right introductions. Who knows? We might meet our future husbands. Although, marrying a king, I can only imagine what that would be like. Would you marry Joffrey if it meant you'd become queen? He does have a certain look about him, and he's always treated Lady Marjorie well, which is more than you can say for his mother. I don't want to be queen no matter who I'd have to marry. Don't want to be queen? You northerners. You'd make a perfect scepter. Well, I would marry him. Imagine the power you would have as Queen of the Seven Kingdoms. I might even allow you to be my handmaiden. Let's see, who else should we marry off? Brian of Tarth and Tyrion Lannister. <laughs> what a perfect match! Sir Bronn and... What are you doing? Well? Sarah? I'm sorry, my lady. As am I. We shouldn't have been messing about. This is not a game. It's a battle plan. Allies and enemies can be made with every move. Yet they say it is men who are powerful. The Queen was pleased by your display, Mira. I'm just glad it's over. King's Landing can be exhausting sometimes. There's always someone to please or some perceived slight to smooth over. I fear it will only get worse when I am Queen. Once they know your true heart, the Lords and Ladies will have no choice but to love you. Do you agree? Once you are queen, the lords and ladies will do their best to please you. You learn very quickly. Your words to Cersei were brave, but I know you must fear what the Boltons might do to your family. I do appreciate your willingness to appease her, as difficult as it may have been. Thank you, my lady. There's been something on my mind. Something important. I... I did have a favor to ask of you in return. Whatever you wish to say, you can say it in front of Sarah. There are no secrets between us. It's about my family. I trust her. I prefer to speak with you alone.
Go on. Ask. Please, Ramsay Snow is on his way to Ironrath to see my brother bend the knee. Ramsay? Bruce Bolton's bastard? I fear my family will suffer if Ramsay is left to do as he likes. But if a raven could be sent to the Boltons to let them know House Forrester has the protection of the Crown... That is no small request. Especially now. Joffrey knows only too well your family fought for the Starks. And now you would have me ask him to intervene? Is the situation that dire? Joffrey will not look favorably on such a request. It is that dire, my lady. I fear for my family's safety. I don't know, Mira. If Cersei were to find out... Don't let the Queen bully you. You have power over him, Lady Marjorie, as no one else does. Not even his mother. Ramsay Snow will arrive at Ironrath within the week. I would never ask this of you if it weren't so urgent. Very well. I'll make your request, but I cannot promise anything. Thank you, my lady. I will send a raven to my family at once. Marjorie? Oh. Lady Marjorie is still with the King? I thought you might want to know. Thank you. I thought we were friends, Mira. When you dismissed me the other day, I won't say it didn't hurt my feelings. We've known each other for years, and yet to be treated like that. We are friends, Sarah. Truly. Friends trust one another. They don't hold secrets. Now Lady Marjorie thinks you don't trust me. And she values your opinion very much. Sarah, I... My lady, I'll leave you to talk. Are you all right, my lady? The king was not inclined to offer help for your family. I'll need this mended. God. He said I was too easily swayed. And he reminded me that I am not yet his wife. I allayed his fear. For now. But it will be a long time before I can ask him for anything again. Nothing I said could cheer him. He wouldn't even speak to me when I left him. What can I do to make this better, my lady? There's nothing you can do, Mira. Please don't hold it against me. Ramsay Snow is on his way to Ironrath. This is simply not how things are done, Mira. Not in King's Landing. I'm sorry, my lady. <sighs> Soon I will be queen. And maybe then I'll be in a better position to help you. But for now, now, we must both be cautious. I must send a raven. I have to warn my family. If you'll excuse me, my lady.
Milady. Begging your pardon, Milady. I hope I didn't frighten you. How long have you been waiting there? Not long. I was just passing by when I saw you emerge from Lady Marjorie's room. I just want you to know, I... I can help you if you'd like. And your family, if you're willing to trust me. I hear all sorts of things. Things that could be useful for you. How can I trust you? There are spies everywhere in King's Landing. Which is why you must trust me, milady. You need allies. I'm sorry. I... I... I really must go. Please don't despair. I know people who... People who'd be willing to help you. It's entirely ridiculous. If it's not the flowers, it's the food or the table settings. Is that the letter to the orphanage? Yes, my lady. It's nearly done. Make sure to tell them we'll send all the leftovers. And mm, something nice after that. You and the children are ever in our thoughts. A lovely sentiment, Mira. I had to borrow that from father. Mine was stolen, can you imagine? I wonder who it was. Oh! Are there any more invitations to send, or are we finally done with the cursed things? One more. An invitation to Sir Maynard. Ah, yes. One of my father's favorite drinking companions. I have a letter for Lady Mira Forrester. Thank you. My pleasure, Lady Mira. What is it, Mira? It's from my mother. She asks that I help ensure Roderick's betrothal to Elena Glenmore remain intact. How can you do that from a thousand leagues away? Ah. It's my help she's after, isn't it? She's a bold woman. Most would shy away from asking such things. Of course. She knows you're very influential. She's not entirely wrong. A letter from me could encourage the Glenmores to honor the betrothal. But it wouldn't be very discreet you'd be forcing their hand. That isn't the way I do things. You pushed me before and you saw the results. I'm sure your brother can secure the marriage on his own. I'd better get going. Mira, we'll talk more later. If Lady Marjorie wrote a letter... I'm sorry, Roderick. Sir Maynard, you are hereby invited... Mira, Lady Marjorie sent me to pick up the letters. Sir Maynard? The man's breath smells like a brew house. I was hoping I'd catch you at something slightly more exciting. 
A love letter, perhaps? Or a declaration of war? I know you're very busy with Lady Marjorie and... and all that's happening with your family. But I was hoping we could talk. If you don't mind. Go ahead, then. Well, it's... We really should get these letters sent first. Do you need any help with those? I've got them. This way. I love King's Landing in the afternoon. The sun just barely kisses your skin. You used to love this place. Remember, we'd come listen to the musicians in the evening with Lady Marjorie? You're right. It's beautiful here. Just through here. What are you doing? You'll see. Queen Cersei's finest wine. Come on, sit down. Where did you get that? I know a boy who keeps the Queen's cellar well stocked. Nobody will miss it, I assure you. A little won't hurt. It's just wine. I promise you, we won't get in trouble. Ah. So, I, uh... Well, I just... I'm not very good at this sort of thing. Listen, if I tell you this, Mira, you must promise to keep it to yourself. You can tell no one. I want to trust you, but I need you to promise. I swear, I won't tell a soul. My mother was a handmaiden to Lady Elena for many years. She became pregnant. It was a disgrace to her family. My true name is Sarah Flowers. You're a bastard? Yes. I'm fortunate to be where I am, I know that. But to always have to hide. I don't want to hide from you as well. What of your father? Who is he? I don't know. My mother died not long after my birth. Who else knows about this? Lady Marjorie, her grandmother, and now you. It's just... I don't want to be Sarah Flowers forever. I need Lady Marjorie to arrange a marriage for me. It's my chance at a life. A family of my own. Did you have someone in mind? Someone you'd wish to marry? I'd have to convince Lady Marjorie to make an introduction first. I know she often confides in you, and I was hoping that maybe... Sometime when she comes to you wanting to talk, you might suggest she talk to me instead. Give me a chance to win her over. Coming from you, it's sure to mean a lot. I can't make that promise, Sarah. You could if you wanted. It's not that difficult. I have much bigger problems, Sarah. I need to look out for my family. No. You're right. I'm sure I would want to look after my family, too. I know your family's troubles are much greater than mine. With what happened to your brother and your father. You need this more than I do. Hmm. A conspiracy of handmaidens. Lord Tyrion. My lord. Ladies. 
What have we here? If you mean to drink from that flagon, you're going about it the wrong way. Care to join us, Lord Tyrion? Hmm. Not the finest arbor red, but a favorite of my sister's. Quite expensive for a handmaiden. I'd be curious to know how you got hold of it. Since I'm certain my sister didn't give it to you, she won't even share with me. Though that's hardly surprising. We... we found it in that bush. Lord Tyrion. Strange it should find its way into a bush. If Cersei knew you had this wine, she'd drown you in it. Yet you're worried about an alliance with me? You need to know what risks are worth taking. Things have changed. My father has recently taken an interest in Ironwood. Most of the Royal Navy went up in green flames. It must be rebuilt. He insisted I handle things myself. I'm on my way to meet representatives of Lord Whitehill. Lord Whitehill? He's hired a pair of merchant lords to broker for his house. It would seem Lord Whitehill wishes to sell the ironwood right out from beneath your family. I don't know much about the man, but judging by his up-jumped sellswords, negotiating with him won't be pleasant. You can't let that happen. Why do you think I brought it up? Come with me. These men think I have no choice but to deal with them. Imagine their surprise when I bring a forester to the table. It might be the first fun I've had in months. My lady? We've been waiting here for an hour. Andros, be courteous. Courtesy in a merchant. Like finding gold in your chamber pot. Apologies, my lady. Who is this? Some girl you've brought for entertainment? She's a lady, Lord Andros. My name is Mira Forrester. Mira Forrester? Why are you here? A fair question. We were told we would be speaking to Lord Tyrion alone. This is no place for a forester. I'm here to sell our ironwood, my lord. Oh, really? Andros. I'm sorry, Lady Mira, but we've already spoken to Lord you Tyrion. You spoke, I listened. Lady Mira has since persuaded me to consider her offer first. Now, if you'll excuse us... You're going to dismiss You us? can't do this! I assure you, I can. This is a mistake, my lord. I don't think so. Lord Whitehill will hear of this. He's not a man to take such matters lightly. Nor am I. That's enough, Andros. <laughs> lord Tyrion. Lord Tyrion, do let me know when you've come to a decision. I'd like the opportunity to change your mind. Lady Mira. Good day, gentlemen. Ah, well, that was fun. Now, as for your offer, what did you have in mind? My lord? The Crown's Ironwood. I assume you have a proposition? You had a reason for coming here. I know it wasn't just to entertain me. I'm sure you already have a proposal in mind. Say the Crown agrees to buy Ironwood solely from you. Lord Whitehill will be left in the cold. If he wishes to sell to the Crown, he'll have to do so through your family. You will have him at your mercy. Or you'll bring your houses to open war. You do know that's a possibility, don't you? With you as a partner, that won't happen. As Master of Coin, I can do many things. But sending an army to the North is not one of them. However, I know your house needs this.
I'll consider the arrangement. Of course, you'd have to do something for me in return. Don't worry. The terms will be fair. What is it you want? You'll know soon enough. We have an understanding, then. Thank you, my lord. This will either be very good for both of us, or very bad for you. For your sake, I hope it's the former. My lady. Everything's still here. Why would someone do this? The letters from my family. What would someone want with them? Was someone going through my books? I have information that will aid you with the imp. Meet me in the gardens at midnight. Where do you think you're going? At this time of night? I, I was just headed back to my room. It's a little late to be out, isn't it? Do you know what 
this uniform means. It means you serve the Lannisters. So, you best get yourself back to your chambers. And I mean, now. If you don't like it, you can take it up with the commander. Is there no way I can change your mind? Did you not hear me? At ease, Lucan. The lady is with me. Yes, sir. Enjoy your night. I hope he wasn't bothering you, my lady. I'm Damien. You were in the throne room earlier. What brings you to the garden? You do. You got my note. That was you. I'm very glad you could make it. I've been wanting to talk to you for quite some time. Did you search my room? What were you looking for? Nothing, Lady Mira. I only wish to leave you a note. I am sorry about this, Mira, but you've made enemies of the wrong people. A handmaiden should know her place. What people? I'll make this quick if that helps. I'd hate to see you suffer. yelling. You did what you had to do, Lady Mira. You had no choice. I need to get back. Someone might see me. I'll take care of him. I know a few places in Fleabot. No one will ever find him. We should talk about this. Later. I'll find you. Everything all right, sir? <gasps> Damien, where are you? <clears throat> there are so many guests already arriving. And have you seen the wedding decorations they put up in the gardens? So beautiful. You know, we're as lucky as she is. Marjorie was but a lady when we were sent to serve at Highgarden. But in just a few days' time, we'll be attending to a queen at a royal feast. Where we're standing, we'll be able to see everyone. And everyone will be able to see us. Sarah, it will be Marjorie's day, not ours. I... I know. I... I didn't mean anything by it. I've been meaning to say what I told you about my family. It means a lot to be able to share that with someone. Someone I can trust. If handmaidens don't help each other in King's Landing, nobody will. Thank you, Mira. And you know I'll always help you too. Hold on, look. There he is. Lord Morgren? No, no, next to him. Lord Tarwick. 
I don't want to be a handmaiden forever. And this wedding may be the best chance of meeting a husband I'll ever have. I have to go talk to him. Marjorie won't notice her for a few minutes longer. Could you make an excuse for me? Please. I'm not asking for much. Go on then. It'll be fine. The wedding's still days away. Thank you, Mira. I knew I could count on you. What are you doing here? I oh, know I shouldn't be here. But we have to talk. I didn't know when I would see you next. Are you all right? I I'm fine. Thank you. I just needed to warn you. I was down in Flea Bottom last night when I overheard a couple of Lannister guards talking about... Shh! They already know he's missing. Probably dead. They're questioning people. Searching for his body. It's not safe. For either of us. Please tell me you took care of it. Of course. I told you I would. No one will know what you did. What? What is it? If we're gonna survive this, there can't be any details we've overlooked. There was another Lannister guard. He saw me with him in the garden. Oh, oh no. You need to keep your head down. Stay out of sight for a while. How? Do you forget who I serve? Just don't get in any more trouble. And I'll... I'll watch your back. We're in this together now. Why are you helping me? What do you mean? I'm a friend, Lady Mira. My name's Tom. We help each other. Or it's both our heads. What were you even doing there that night? I once told you. There are people who'd be willing to help you. People who want you alive. I'm here to make sure that happens. Wait, what? You mean someone... Mira? My lady. Really? A tryst in the bushes with that coal boy? Not to say it's wrong, but with all the lords and knights in King's Landing, you just don't want to spoil your chances of a good marriage. At least you're trying to keep it secret. Can we just keep it between us? I'd prefer nobody knows. Of course. That's what friends do. Come on. Marjorie expects us at the throne room. We don't want to be late. You can tell me all about this Lord Tarwick on the way. Well, first of all, his name's Garibald, and he has this really funny accent. He told me the cleverest story about this festival they have where they celebrate. And I've given the musicians a list of songs to play for Joffrey at the feast. I assume you have no problems with the reigns of Castamir? I trust you've chosen all the standards, but just to be sure, I'll draw up a list of wedding ballads we favor in Highgarden. Your Grace? My lady. Which reminds me, Joffrey will require his king's guard close at hand during the feast. I'm afraid we'll have no room for your handmaidens. <gasps> but we... What was that? Do you object? Is that what I heard? I, uh... If you're going your to grace, speak out of turn, girl... I... You should finish what you start. Your grace, we must do as our lady commands us. If Marjorie has need of us during the wedding, The then... king's safety is more important than straightening your lady's gown. I asked your handmaiden here at the Iron Throne, whom she would serve if forced to choose between yourself and the king. She said she'd serve the king, yet now she puts your needs first. I'm surprised you'd let such swings of loyalty go unchecked. In any case, it's settled. The king's guard will stay with Joffrey. Your handmaidens will sit elsewhere. Of course, Your Grace. Anything for my beloved Joffrey. Lady Marjorie, we may not see eye to eye on everything, 
But I hope you will at least agree with me that our handmaidens should know their place. And that place is not with my brother, Tyrion. What did she mean by that, you and Tyrion? What you do reflects on me. If something's going on, I need to know about it. We only shared some wine, my lady. Drinking wine with Tyrion Lannister. Sarah, what do you know of this? Tyrion approached us, my lady. It was his idea, not Mira's. I don't care what your intentions were, Mira. You went to a Lannister behind my back. I've only ever tried to help you. Why are you making trouble for me? My family needs me. We're losing everything. I have to do whatever I can to help them. I'm not blind to your pain, Mira. But your problems are not the only ones in the world. Right now, I need you both to be my handmaidens, and that's all I need you to be. Let there be no mistake. If I hear of you speaking so much as a word to Tyrion Lannister again, you can go home to your family. I'm only trying to help my family. You would do the same for yours. Please don't send me home. This can't happen again. I want the dove pie served with a spoon of lemon cream. We'll have to let the kitchens know. And these flowers. They're just all wrong in the Crown Lands. Mira, are you listening to me? Lady Marjorie, good tidings to you today. Thank you, Lord Tyrion. And you, Lady Mira, a word in private, if I may. I'll return her shortly. Who would I be to deny Lord Tyrion? Very soon you'll be the queen, and if you're anything like the current one, you'll deny me all you like. Mira, please excuse me for a moment, my lady. I promise I won't keep you long. I don't think Lady Marjorie likes me. Although after tonight, I suspect I won't be her least favorite Lannister anymore. What did you want, my lord? Oh, there's much unpleasant business to be done today. But I bring you a bit of good news. I've arranged for the Crown to purchase Forrester Ironwood. A royal decree sits on my desk now. And I'll have my squire Podrick see to it at the first opportunity. You'll bring prosperity to your family. They're lucky to have you. You honor me, Lord Tyrion. Only you could make such a strong gesture to House Forrester. My lord, do I still owe you a favor? As handmaiden to the new queen, you will undoubtedly prove useful. I'm sure I'll think of something. Enjoy the festivities. Goodbye, Lord Tyrion. Today of all days, you know I didn't want you talking to him. You're playing a dangerous game, Mira. Sarah will help me with my gown and hair. <laughs> I'll deal with you after the wedding. Come with me, Sarah. <sighs> this isn't fair. We were supposed to be up there. I'll never see another wedding like this. I don't know what you did with Tyrion Lannister that made Cersei want to punish you, but it never should have affected me like this. I'm so sorry. I had no idea any of this would happen. But what Tyrion Lannister did for me, it may have saved my family. I hope that's true, Mira. I really do. Because you don't know how furious Marjorie is at you. When I was getting her dressed for the wedding, she was 
talking about who she could replace you with. <gasps> I probably shouldn't have even told you. But I suppose you have a right to know. Tell me who it is. Why? What are you going to do to her? Sarah? It doesn't matter. It was just names. This is about you. <sighs> I know this must be hard for you. It wasn't too long ago I was asking for your help with Marjorie. And what did you do? Now you know how it feels. Being on the outside looking in. But I'm your friend, Mira. Always. If you want my help with Marjorie, just ask. Otherwise, Marjorie's going to make you leave King's Landing. You're pushing her to it, Mira. And I can't let you. I need you here. Sarah, I was wrong not to offer you my help. I can only ask you to be a better friend than I was to you. Don't worry. We'll figure this out. I'll beg Marjorie if I have to. I'm not letting her send you home. Look, the pie! Oh no! They're already serving the pie. Oi! We're missing everything. I know you. You were in the gardens the other night with Damien. Before he disappeared. I have a few questions to ask you. What were you doing there with him? Mira? Don't think I don't know it was you. I don't forget a face. You've made a mistake. Uh, seven hells. <sighs> you there, girl. I need a towel or a wet cloth, something. Lord Morgren. You'll need to find someone else. I'm not finished Are with you her. you sick, man? You think I have time to bother with handmaidens? Release her, or I'll have Queen Cersei find you another job. Well. I just ruined a perfectly good shirt to come to your rescue. No need to explain what that was all about. We all have our own mischief to hide. Why would you want to help me? Well, I didn't do it merely for your benefit. Then why? Perhaps I recognize a kindred spirit. It's not every little handmaiden who can steal an ironwood decree with the crown right out from under my nose. Consider me impressed. My partners, I am afraid to say, felt rather differently about it. You flatter me, my lord. I'm only saying you have potential, my lady. Your problem is, you still think like a handmaiden. Do you even understand why Tyrion gave you the Ironwood deal? Because it wasn't out of the kindness of his heart. I'm no fool. He wants something from me. Access to Marjorie. Or, perhaps he just knew he could get the cheapest iron. Very observant. You are no mere handmaid. I remember what it was like to be new to this game. You feel like you're drowning, don't you? But there's no one you can really trust. What you need, more than anything, is an ally. I could be that for you, Lady Mira. Is that something you'd be interested in? What exactly are the terms of this offer? What do you get out of it? A smart question. So, let me be blunt. Circumstances have put us at odds. But what if we were to work together? Control the price of ironwood together? We could get very, very rich together. Or should I go back to Lord Whitehall? Who has proven to be very interested in it? Yeah. Don't 
What happened? Joffrey's dead! I'm afraid it just became a very bad time to be linked to Tyrion Lannister. Tell me that you got that Ironwood decree from him before the wedding. Oh no. He said it was waiting for me on his desk. <sighs> what a shame. Such potential. I'm afraid any chance of our alliance has become quite impossible. You understand, Lady Mira. I can get it. I'll get it back from his chamber. That would not be an easy task, especially now. But if it were to disappear, perhaps we could talk again. You have a good head for business, Lady Mira. It'd be terribly disappointing to see it on the end of a pike. Not getting in this way. Tom! What in seven hells do you think you're doing up here? What are you thinking? You've got to leave. Now. Tom. I'm in trouble. There's... something inside I need to get. If I don't, it's going to be a nightmare. Damn it. Whatever trouble you're in could be trouble for me too. So what do we do? I have an idea. The terrace. The what? I could maybe climb across the roof and drop down onto the outside terrace. It's just... I don't know, Mira. Is whatever's in there really worth risking my life for? It's not just kings who die stupidly around here. Tom, I really need your help here. I can't do this alone. Just be careful. Wait here. I'll be at the door before you know it. Just what do you think you're doing here? You shouldn't be anywhere near this place. Don't you know the imp has murdered the king? I work for Lady Marjorie. Queen Marjorie. She asked me to wait here. Somehow I find that hard to believe. I'm not going to ask you again. Oi! Whoever's in there, I command you to open this door at once, in the name of the king! You! Don't move! Tom! It's me! Hurry! Gods, that was close. I almost didn't make it back down here. Some tiles on the roof came loose. I almost lost my footing. Tom, we have to hurry. I'm looking for a piece of paper. A royal decree. Well, go on. That Lannister guard could be back with help any second. I'll keep watch outside the door. Tom! You can do this. He said that it would be on his desk. A letter from Tywin Lannister. Oh, oh, another bloody letter! Tyrion's strongbox. Oh, it must be in here. I think the Lannister guard is back. Oh no, it's the other one. Damn it! Hide! I find a way to distract them. I'm telling you, I heard someone in here. Search the place. We'll find them. And after. Now that we've got the imp's keys, we can have a little look inside his lockboxes, eh? <laughs> Aye.
You did it. How? I lit a tapestry on fire down the hall. I bought you a minute, maybe two. Oh, thank you. Did you find it? Oh, I think... I think it has to be in here. It has to be. Oh! Come on! No, 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 no! Just hurry! Finally, let's go. <coughs> if I catch the bastard who, I'll wring their bloody neck. It's another coronation already. Our kings just get younger and younger. Tommen's not ready. He's too soft. <laughs> Maybe that was the imp's plan. I wonder if Marjorie Tyrell will be there today. You mean Queen Marjorie? She was married to Joffrey. Hmm. For all I of one hour. Marry his brother too. Not to I mention put Cersei and Jaime. Shh. The Lannisters have spies everywhere. What is it, Tom? I remember that warning you'd heard from Roderick. About White Hill's contact. Did you find anything? Only whispers. But your brother's right. Blood White Hill. Blood White Hill is sending a great deal of gold to someone here in King's Landing. He's definitely up to something. Something big. But I don't know what. I bet it's one of those ironwood merchants. Lord Morgren and Lord Andros. It's hard to say. Lord Whitehill is surprisingly secretive. They'll both be at the feast after Tommen's coronation today. Maybe you can learn something. I can't go. Marjorie's... She's not exactly happy with me right now. I've been uninvited. Couldn't Sarah help? Ask her to get you in. She'd do it, right? Don't handmaidens look out for each other? We are friends. I'm sure she'd help if I asked her. It's a good plan, then. It's nearly time. Just be careful, Lady Mira. King's Landing seems to have it in for you. Side. What are you doing here? I have to get in there, Sarah. I know I'm not supposed to attend, but then you know Lady Marjorie doesn't want to see you. What could be so important? I need to speak with Lords Morgren and Andros. One of them might be working against my family. Doing what? If I knew that, I wouldn't be here. Lady Marjorie would be furious, Mira. I can't. I'm sorry. I want to help you. But I can't risk it. Please, Sarah. I don't know. For me. <sighs> Fine. Just stop making that face already. You owe me for this. She's with me. We'll stay out of trouble. I promise. Feels a bit strange to celebrate, doesn't it? Not so long ago, King Joffrey sat on the Iron Throne. Tommen is our king now. 
Long may he reign. Sarah! I was worried you'd run off with your friend there. And what if I did? I'm not sure I could blame you. This is Lady Mira Forrester. Mira, Lord Garibald Tarwick. She's quite lovely. Where have you been hiding her? You're making her blush. Sorry, Mira. <laughs> you flatter me. Sarah's lovelier than us all. I won't argue there. It's quite a feast, isn't it? Just be careful around the wine. I hear you're partial to a particular arbor red. It's easy to forget. Nothing you do in King's Landing goes unnoticed. Drink too much once and you're forever the drunken fool. Talk to the wrong people Oh, and... Lord Tarwick! <laughs> what was that about? Nothing. That subject isn't fit for your delicate she ears anyway. Oh, really? <gasps> My That's ears are not We've delicate. Of course they are. Look how tiny they are. <laughs> Little <Stop> loads. <laughs> it. What? I mean it. Someone caught your eye, Mira? I'm sorry, I... I I'm, I'm rather thirsty. Oh, allow me. No, I can get it myself. Thank you. If you'll excuse me. This reminds me of the tourney at Lannisport. You wouldn't believe it. You told me this story. But you would have loved it. We danced all evening, drank wine from our helmets. That is it! Andros, you're being ridiculous! It is a lot, but I know how to spend it. Mm. But how did you manage it? Lord Whitehill trusts me above all others. That's why I'm the only one he's willing to work with. Oh, an exclusive deal. How good for you, Andros. Well, I've got my family to consider. When's the last time you even saw your wife, Andros? Telling the joke, remember? And why would you ever stop dealing ironwood? Hmm, is there no longer a demand for it? I can't imagine that would be the case. <sighs> no need for such wild speculation. I've simply lost interest. I'm moving on to better things, as they say. And what would that be? <laughs> no, no, no. I can see what you're doing. I'm not giving away my secrets just yet. I heard he was killed. Right here in the garden. Well. Wasn't he Lannister? One of their guard, but still. Oh, surely they found who did it. No. They haven't caught him yet. Not for lack of effort, mind you. I hear they've spared no expense. Let's not repeat too much gossip. Oh, it seems so calm out there.
can't look at flowers the same way anymore. <laughs> oh, please, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> Lady Mira, I'm impressed. Impressed with what? That you aren't currently locked in a cell. I trust this means that you took care of that contract. How did you do it, if I may ask? I wasn't expecting to see you again, if I'm being honest. You must have made quick work of it. If I tell you how I did it, what's in it for me? <laughs> Nothing. But I admire the gall. I do believe King's Landing is rubbing off on you. So, what have you been up to? Enjoying yourself? Though I suppose if you're talking to me, you must want something. Don't tell me you just enjoy my company. I noticed you and Andros arguing earlier. I'm sorry you had to see that. I told him it was not the time. What were you arguing about, if you don't mind my asking? Well, a bold question deserves a bold answer, doesn't it? I've been pushed out of the ironwood business. Oh. All thanks to my partner. Bloody imbecile. Andros is now Lud Whitehill's exclusive contact in King's Landing. No matter the fact that I introduced them in the first place. That man would be nothing without me. How quickly people forget where they started. Why would Lord Andros want to push you out? You found a man he could manipulate. Someone who wouldn't demand an equal share. Lyman Lannister. He's working with a Lannister? A third cousin, to be fair. Whatever Andros is up to, he clearly thinks Lyman can take my place. <laughs> Rickard! Are you done flirting with that handmaiden? We need your opinion here. Oh, <laughs> leave him alone. Please excuse me. And a Lannister, too. Uh, I thought we were done talking about this. You asked me about my friend. the Friends, yes. Lyman is your business partner. What's the difference? Uh, fair enough, Andros. Then if my friends happen to protect me from the crowd, all the better. <laughs> I think I need more wine. Excuse me. Lyman Lannister? Shit! You startled me. As if I don't already have enough to deal with. Here, let me help. That's very kind of you. Thank you. But I'm fine. I just get clumsy sometimes. I'm... I'm afraid you have me at a disadvantage, Lady... Mira. Lady Mira. I'm not used to being approached so boldly, but I'm glad you did. I always feel a bit out of place at big gatherings like this. So, what brings you over here? I'm not the best company, I'm afraid. Or were you headed for the wine and I got in your way? You look like you could use some company. What are you doing all by yourself? I don't mind, really. I only came to discuss some business with Lord Andros. <laughs> I'm told it's rude to leave early. Oh? What kind of business? I... I really shouldn't talk about it. Andros came to me in confidence. You understand. He wouldn't be pleased, I'm sure. I'm sorry. If you like, you can whisper it in my ear. I... well... I suppose I could just... Lyman! What do you think you're doing? 
What? Nothing. You stay away from him. Andros! We were just talking. You were just talking to Mira Forrester. Forrester? I... I didn't realize. My lord? Let me say this as plainly as I can. Don't ever meddle in my affairs again! Lady Marjorie. Lady Marjorie. Lady Mira? That was quite a scene over there. Are you all right? I'm fine. I can handle Lord Andros. It's Lyman I was worried about. What do you mean? Honestly, that story isn't fit for a maiden's ears. Just be careful around him. All right? Just tell me, Lord Tarwick. It's important. I may be willing to tell you. If you'll first tell me something about Sarah. Your help could save me a lot of embarrassment. I'd be very grateful, Lady Mira. What do you want to know about Sarah? Sarah Durwell. Interesting name, that. Funny thing is, the last Durwells died off almost 200 years ago. What can you tell me about her family? Something isn't quite right, but I'm not sure. You must understand, I can't court a woman just because I like the way she laughs. I need to know her family, her parentage. That is unfortunately the way things are. I've met the Durwells when I was at Highgarden. Oh? They're a small house these days, but very well regarded. Ah, right. Well, that's a relief. For a moment, I thought... And now, Lord Tarwick, it's your turn. Right. Lyman Lannister. Ten years ago, Lyman was injured at the tourney at Lannisport. He took a bad fall from his horse, needed milk of the poppy for weeks just to keep from screaming. Oh. And between us, he's never stopped drinking the stuff. Can't stop, actually. He spent all his money trying to get more. The man can't go a day without it. So that's why he shakes. You mustn't repeat that, Lady Mira. I shouldn't even know about it. Besides, Lyman suffered enough embarrassment. And every man's entitled to his secrets. He'd be horrified if everyone knew. I won't tell. I promise. Good. I'd hate for Lord Andros to trace this back to me. You learned that from Andros. The man's mouth is bigger than the black water. Poor Lyman has no idea. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some arrangements to make. Lady Mira? Lord Lyman, we really need to talk. I know what you're up to. I won't discuss my business with Andros, so please, please, just leave me alone. You've landed me in enough trouble. Just, just leave. Look at you. You're shaking. It's an old injury. But there's more to it than that, isn't there? What are you saying? Either tell me what you want, or go bother someone else. I don't have to stand here and take this. Lord Andros has betrayed you. I know everything. What? What do you... The milk of the poppy. 
You drink it like wine. Ever since your injury at Lannisport. He wouldn't... Andros wouldn't... He's not your friend. He's been using you. I trusted him. He spilled your secrets. So why not spill his? Andros is hiring cell swords. Hundreds of them. What? He's building an army for Lord Whitehill, big enough to march against Ironrath. But Andros is doing it in secret. No one knows. Or at least, he doesn't want anyone to know. I told him I'd keep quiet, but... Well... Now you know, too. And you're helping him? Yes, I've helped gather the men, but that doesn't... You bloody traitor! You promised me! Then you told everyone? What are you talking about? You're a liar! I should never have trusted you! She told me everything! Lady Mira, you've just made a very grave error. Very grave indeed. You realize that, I hope. Don't be so bloody dramatic, because I'm just getting started. seen you since the coronation feast. How many ships do you suppose it takes to move an army? Ships? Why in the world would you... Never mind. Mira, I'll be honest. I took an enormous risk, defying Marjorie to get you into that feast, and you thanked me by making a scene with Lord Andros in front of everybody. Marjorie saw, of course, and she knew exactly how you got there. Andros was the one doing the yelling. You can't blame me for his poor manners. But he was yelling at you. And it's not the first time you've gotten yourself into trouble lately. Which is why it's not safe for me to be around you anymore. What? Mira, you're not the girl I knew at Highgarden. She'd never be so reckless. And now that Garibald and I are discussing marriage, I just can't risk being associated with you. Not anymore. You know how much I need this marriage. I won't do anything to jeopardize it. If you abandon me, who'll be there when you need someone? I don't know. Garibald, I suppose. I'm sorry, Mira. I truly am. Was it worth it, at least, sacrificing so much for your family? They're still in very grave danger, I'm afraid. Well, I know you'll do everything in your power to protect them. They'll be very brave. I'd better go before she sees me. She already You're a forester. Can I help you? You need to come with me. Now. Why would I? Don't make this difficult.
Your Grace. You're familiar with my brother's chambers, aren't you? Certainly you've been here before. You looked rather confused when you came in, as if you didn't know where you were. I don't know what you mean, Your Grace. I'm told you know these chambers as well as anyone. You're quite the curiosity, aren't you? You profess to be loyal to the Crown, yet you're not very loyal to Lady Marjorie. Have I displeased you, Your Grace? I've heard things. I understand you've been quite busy. Tell me, do you consider yourself an honest, loyal handmaiden? One can never tell with you northern girls. Assuming an honest person exists in King's Landing. It hasn't been easy, Your Grace, but I've done what I've needed to do. Haven't we all? I've done my best to keep an open mind about people like you. Yet, Lucan tells me you invited yourself to Tommen's coronation party. How exactly did that happen? It can't have been easy. Or at least it shouldn't have been. I do what's necessary, Your Grace. Including using another girl to talk your way in, I'm told. You're not above using people to get what you want. Good. Why would you be so reckless as to risk your neck for what? It all seems rather careless, considering the consequences. My family is still very much at risk, Your Grace. It was crucial I attend. Your family. Sometimes that's a convenient lie we tell ourselves. When I suspect your issue with Lord Andros played a part in it. You've been such a busy little handmaiden. I assume Lady Marjorie knew nothing of this. No, Your Grace. This wasn't the first time you've hidden the truth from her. You've no qualms about lying to her, have you? Tell me the truth. Your secret is safe with me. Only when I must, Your Grace. I think we both know it's more often than that. Perhaps I mistook your northern stubbornness for ignorance, but now I see there's more to you. You're a cunning girl, and perhaps you can help me. Your Grace? You're quite friendly with my brother Tyrion. I need you to speak with him before the trial begins. I want to know who he intends to call as a witness on his behalf. Consider it a favor to the Crown, for which we will all be grateful. I would be happy to, Your Grace. It won't be easy. Tyrion is devious. You'll have to hide your intentions, otherwise he'll tell you nothing. You may prove to be a useful little bird to me, assuming you do as you're told. In return, I'll take care of your problem with Lord Andros. Thank you, Your Grace. I never liked the man anyway, and I doubt anyone will miss him. Take this. It'll help loosen his tongue. But be careful. He's a tricky little bastard. If he figures out who sent you, he'll tell you nothing. I'll be listening to every word you say. Oh, I ask for brawn, they send me a handmaiden. Well, you're here. You might as well come in. Let me guess. Your family is in grave danger, and you've come seeking my help? Not that I'd be of much use to you. As you can see, I'm at a bit of a disadvantage. I thought we were friends, Lord Tyrion. I thought so as well. Yet, here you are. You brought wine. How thoughtful of you. And you didn't even have to hide it. Hmm. Doesn't smell poisoned. Poisoned? Cersei would love nothing more than to save herself the trouble of a trial. You don't expect me to drink alone, do you? They never let anyone in to see me. 
I suppose I'll have just a little. Ah, true girl of the north. Hmm. Some things are worth dying for. So, why are you here? It's rather unusual for a handmaiden to visit the Black Cells. I've been worried about you, Lord Tyrion. Oh, have you? You may be the only person in all of King's Landing who doesn't want to see my head on a spike. You and Podrick. I have to admit, I've always admired your honesty, but I suspect there's more to you than one might imagine. This is all a ruse, isn't it? Sorry? You're coming here. We both know you have an ulterior motive. You've come to set me free. It's the perfect plan. No one would suspect it of you. <laughs> I'm afraid not, unfortunately. Unfortunate for us both. So, tell me. Cersei sent you, didn't she? I know I'm not wrong. The truth, Mira. Are you toying with me? I might ask you the same question. Now tell me the truth. Admit it. She left me no choice. She never does. At least you had the courage to tell me the truth. I told you not to run your mouth! Stupid girl. You're acting a fool. Let me handle this. We're not done talking. You heard the girl. Go. Imp. What did my sister expect you would learn? Who will testify on your behalf? She's using you. And will continue to do so. Until you no longer prove useful. It's not as if I could refuse her. Cersei is not someone to be trifled with. And what would Lady Marjorie make of your new friendship with my sister? I doubt she'd be pleased. Assuming she doesn't dismiss you immediately. Lady Marjorie doesn't know. And I intend to keep it that way. You're fooling yourself if you think it's your secret to keep. And without her protection, you're in a very precarious position. <clears throat> What should I tell Cersei? She knows the answer better than anyone. No one will testify for me. She's already seen to that. That is the truth of it. Not that it will help you. I appreciate your honesty, Lord Tyrion. And I yours, Lady Mira. Although I doubt my sister will. Enough of this nonsense! You're wasting my time! Out! Now! I wish you well, Lady Mira. Be careful who you trust. Please, Lady Marjorie, please don't send me back to Highgard. Finally, you grace us with your presence. I was beginning to think you'd found someone else to serve. My lady, is there something I can help you with? I'll get to you in a moment. 
Do you realize how precarious my position is with Cersei? Of course, my lady. Of all the people in King's Landing, you steal from the Queen Regent. I didn't mean... Did you know about this? Sarah's been stealing wine. From Cersei, no less. As if I haven't got enough to worry about. No, my lady. It doesn't sound like something Sarah would do. Is that so? I had no idea. Really? Half the servants in the keep are talking about it, but somehow you're in the dark? Where's my seal? I haven't seen it in weeks. Do you know where it went, Mira? Do you think that our thief here pocketed it too? My lady, please. I, I would never steal from you. I've yet to meet the thief who'd admit they would. We used to keep it in the armoire. See, here it is. It was hidden in the back. Hmm, strange. It wasn't there when I looked. <sighs> I'm sorry. It's not right to accuse without proof. It's just... I need order in my household. Until I'm married to Tommen, I can't afford any more mistakes. I have no choice but to make changes among my handmaidens. Tommen's garden party, Mira. What were you thinking? I can't believe you'd be so irresponsible. I expected better of you. But... Uh, Lady Marjorie... I don't know what you mean. Oh, I must have it wrong. It must have been some other handmaiden making a scene with Lord Andros. Sarah's been saying some damning things about you, Mira. I suspect in an effort to save her own neck. My lady, please! You've said enough. One of you must answer for this. Sarah says you used her to get you into the party. You've been with me a long time, Mira. When I'm queen, I'll need people I can count on. Please, tell me this isn't true. Please, Mira. I don't deserve to lose my position for this. I'm begging you to tell her the truth. My lady, I... I'm sorry. Sarah's telling the truth. This has been building for some time, Mira, but it still breaks my heart. I've been nothing but good to you. I've put up with your schemes. I've even tried to help you and your family where I could. And you repay me with this. I feel... betrayed. I won't have it. You'd have done the same in my position. Don't tell me what I would or would not do. Consider yourself dismissed from my service. But, but, but my lady... Get out! Mira, wait! I'm so sorry. She was so angry. I, d I didn't know what else to do. You saved me from being sent home. I can't believe you did that for me. I expected I'd be on my way to High Garden by now. But you stood up for me. You're my friend, Sarah. I look after the people I care about. Thank you, Mira. I really mean it. I know you didn't have to. I wish things had turned out differently. But I suppose this is goodbye. I'm not sure when. I'm not sure we'll see each other again. King's Landing has a way of changing a person, Sarah. 
You're too good to let that happen to you. I don't think I will change, Mira. It's just not who I am. There's something I need to tell you. Something I heard. There are some vile rumors going on about you. Rumors? About you murdering a Lannister guard. I thought you should know. Thanks, Sarah. Careful, Mira. You're on your own now. Lady Mira, wait. Tom, what is it? Guards, they're searching your room. Break it down. Search the place. <gasps> they're coming after us for the murder. Come on, we can't stay here. What's going on, Tom? Sarah said she'd heard rumors about me. It's all over the keep, my lady. They're saying you take Lannister men to your bed and murder them in their sleep. What? That's ridiculous. It'd be ridiculous, my lady, if soldiers weren't smashing in your door. They're saying you killed that Lannister guard. There's more. Someone sent the captain of the guard a message about you. Dropped off at the guardhouse. Anonymously. You mean... Someone's plotting against me. What was in the message? Murder accusations, most likely. Whoever's behind this, they're making their move now. If those guards catch you, if they catch us... We've got to stay close to Lady Marjorie. They won't touch us if we're with her. She'll protect us. Lady Marjorie dismissed me. For good. What? What for? It's not important. Just... We can't count on her. Then we've had it, Lady Mira. Calm down. Panicking isn't going to help. Those guards won't stop until they find someone for Damien's death. What are we going to do, Lady Mira? How are we getting out of this one? Don't worry, Tom. We'll figure out who's behind this. We've managed to get this far, haven't we? You're right, Lady Mira. But we ain't faced nothing like this. But I don't know how to aid you now. Tell me and I'll help you. Whatever it is, we can't stay here. Things are too dangerous for me here, Tom. I need to get back to Ironrath. There's a collier store by the river gate, on Muddy Way. The owners are like family. You'll be safe. From there, we can get you out of King's Landing. Who's there? Show yourself, or it'll be worse for you. Get to the Colliers. Tell Godwin I sent you. Goodbye, Lady Mira. Oh boy, take him! Lady Mira! There she is! Take her! What's all this? Lord Morgren! How lovely to run into you. Mira Forrester! You're coming with us! <coughs> My good sirs, there's no need for that. Surely you have more dangerous criminals to deal with than Lady Marjorie's handmaiden. We have orders from Captain Lucan Let to... Let me worry about Lucan. 
You worry about buying yourselves a few tankards. On me. Thank you for keeping our city safe. Can I take you somewhere, Lady Mera? The Rivergate. Thank you. The Rivergate. Quick as you can. What's going on, Mira? Is there a problem? Maybe I can help. Someone's plotting against me. Plotting? What do you mean? They're spreading malicious rumors. And worse, they've set the guard after me. I see. That is worrying indeed. Clearly you've made powerful enemies here in King's Landing. Although, you've made short work of one of them at least. I hear Lord Andros has found a home in the Black Cells. I'm impressed. It seems he took on the wrong handmaiden, and lost. Andros was a snake, working for the White Hills. He got exactly what he deserved, and no more. I'm inclined to agree. I doubt anyone will miss the oath. Of course, now that you've gotten rid of my biggest competitor, all kinds of opportunities have opened up. Particularly in your part of the Seven Kingdoms, the Ironwood Market is wide open. A lot of gold to be made. There's opportunity enough for both of us, Lord Morgren. Think of what we could accomplish if we worked together. <laughs> I have thought about it. I've thought about it a great deal. You're clever, Mira. Getting that decree from Tyrion's chambers I still wonder how you managed such a feat. Of course, I knew you'd be a problem when we first met. Imagine, a handmaiden stealing the Crown's ironwood contract from under my nose. That's why I bribed that Lannister guard to kill you. Don't look so surprised. You must have known you'd become a target sooner or later. Killing Lannister guards does not go unnoticed. You... you two-faced shit! Don't you have any honor? Honor? Do you think I got where I am because of honor? We've both seen what happens to honorable men. After Lud takes Ironwood, he and I will control the Ironwood trade entirely. You've been very helpful, Mira, but it's time to get you out of the way. Can't have you complicating things. You're making a mistake, Morgren. Lud will turn on you the first chance he gets. You're a fool if you don't see that. Tell me, Mira. Who is the fool here? You or I? We've arrived. Now get out of my fucking litter! Oh. Luca, fancy coming across you here. I seem to have found something you're looking for. That you have, my lord. I've been searching for this murderer a long time. Finally, I got her. You've got the wrong person. I, I've done nothing wrong. Shut your liar's mouth. It's time you answered for your crimes. Take her to the cells. Chin up, Mira. I'm sure if you ask him nicely, the headsman will be quick. Human teeth. Oh. 
rats. They're everywhere in King's Landing. Ugh, disgusting. Looks fresh. Looks like they didn't make it to the block. Oh, no way to get this alight. I wonder if I could use it for something else. Jailer, please. Shut it. Please come here. How strong are these bars? <laughs> I wonder what she's done. <clears throat> uh, hello. I excuse me. What do you want? Can you get me out of here? Because if not, I don't want to know. Hey, no talking. Jailer, Jailer, come over here. Oh, don't you start again. Why don't you come here for a moment? We can have a little chat about it. God's woman, I said shut it. Or I will come in there and you won't like what happens. Well, what do you want then? Tell me, please. I'll do anything. Just tell me! Ugh, bastard! Before the day's over, they'll take us straight to the block. So don't give me that look. You can leave the judgment to the Father, whatever gods you believe in. I don't judge you. We've all done things we're not proud of. I have a son, a little baby boy. I think of the smell of his skin, his tuft of brown hair. There is nothing I wouldn't do, nothing, just to hold him again. That's what getting out of here means to me. What would you do in my place? I'll never see him again. People will tell your son about you. Stories about what you were in life. Give him a story he can be proud of. But you've no idea what I've done. Doesn't matter what we've done. All that matters now is what we do next. Mira, making friends already, I see. Be quick. We'll be coming back for her next. For your trouble. What? Nothing to say? Block will do that to you. They'll be here for you soon. You don't have much time. What are you doing here, Morgren? Come to rub your triumph in my face. Far from it, Lady Mira. I've come to make you an offer. I was thinking about what you said, and I've come to the conclusion you're right. Lud will likely betray me the first chance he gets. And I realized I'd overlooked something of great value. Your name. I want you as my wife. Your wife? Do you do all your wooing in cells? 
I'm new to courting, but I imagine less violence and intimidation. Wars are won and lost in the marriage bed mirror. Kingdoms too. And I want my own kingdom. I'll start with an old and noble house, with a keep like Ironrath. It may not be the grandest castle in Westeros, but it's a start. My family would never allow it. If you go anywhere near Forester Lands, my brothers will kill you. That might be difficult for them. Two of your brothers are already dead. That idiot Lud will take care of the rest. <laughs> he marches on your house in full force with ten times your numbers. I'm sorry, Mira. None of your family will survive the battle. You don't know that! Ironrath will fall to you. And through marriage, it will become mine. A hold fast in the north can only help my ambitions. If all this happens, I want revenge against Lud. Promise me he dies. Let me be clear, Mera. You're in no position to make demands. It's fitting our betrothal begins in a cell. I'd say it's a perfect symbol for the rest of your life. You plan to keep me locked up? Well, perhaps not literally. If you play your part and produce my heirs. The murder of a Lannister guard can't go unpunished. But I can get you out of here, Mira. One word from me, that cowboy takes your place on the block. Tom! All you have to do is agree to marry me. You'll give up your power. You'll give up your ancestral home. But you'll be alive. So, Mira, what do you say? You will never have Ironrath. And you will never have me. What? You fool. I'd rather die. Fine. Have it your way. In the name of the King, I hereby sentence you to death. Bring forth the next prisoner! This young woman is accused of murdering a loyal servant of the king. Who here bears witness to her crimes? I will speak to them. This traitor and a murderer! Kill her! She's innocent! A disgrace to her family no! name! Spare her! <laughs> <laughs> oh, traitor! She Take her head! Mira Forrester, in the sight of gods and men, and in the name of the king, End I sentence you to die. Shame! Raven! Kill her! If you have final words, Shame! speak them now. She's innocent! Yeah. Iron from ice! A brave She's innocent! Oh, noble Kill death! Her. Kneel! <laughs> 